here we have frequency division multiplexing, where we have five channels or five messages, each with a baseband bandwidth of six kilohertz. So that's your baseband bandwidth. And we need one kilohertz guard bands or spacing between the channels. And the question is, what's the total bandwidth required? So the band pass bandwidth. So for part A, we have single sideband modulation. So if you can imagine the spectrum, it might look something like this, where you have your first channel, and then your second channel, then your third channel, fourth channel, and the fifth channel, like that. They don't have to be the same, but they all have to have a bandwidth of six kilohertz. Now remember, this is SSB, so the bandwidth will be equal to the baseband bandwidth. So the bandwidth of each of the um, modulated or the band pass signals will be exactly six kilohertz. Now, between each of these stations, you have the guard band. So this is your one, um, this is your one kilohertz. So that's the guard band, the distance on the frequency axis between adjacent spectra. So you have one kilohertz, one kilohertz, one here, and one here. We don't need to worry about either side, to the left and to the right. We're talking simply about these five user channels. So the total bandwidth will be six times five plus four times one. So this is your guard bands and that's your SSB. So that'll give you a total of 34 kilohertz. Now for part B, the only thing that's changed is we now have DSB, so double sideband. So if we're now going to plot the spectrum again, it will look similar, but you'll have double the sideband. You'll have a lower sideband and an upper sideband. So the frequency of each will be twice the baseband. So you'll have 12 kilohertz, 12 kilohertz, 12 and 12. And between these, you'll have your guard bands of one kilohertz. So the total bandwidth will again be six times 12 plus five minus one times one. And this gives you 64 kilohertz, so slightly um, less than twice the um, bandwidth for SSB. Now for part C, we have FM and we're given the modulation index. So the, we can reuse this diagram here. So the bandwidth of each of these, if we use Carson's rule, we can approximate the bandwidth of each station to be two to one plus beta times FM. So it's two to one plus five times six. So that'll give you 72 kilohertz. So that's each. Each of these um, stations will have a bandwidth of 72. So your total bandwidth will be five times 72 plus five minus one times one. And that gives you 364 kilohertz. So a much larger bandwidth than either 
DSB or SSB. So that would be your final answer.